spring, spring, the first spring, day of spring, 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 the spring, spring. Hi everyone, my name is Landon. Today we're going to talk about animals again. And I had a long walk, sorry guys, I thought I'm naked. Today we're talking about camouflage. Camouflage is a very powerful thing for animals. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators. Did you know like predators, like we talked about like a few seconds ago, like they use camouflage too to blend in it and sneak up and try to eat them. Some predators use camouflage when they hunt. An example of wolves and deer, they, they're like brown coats to blend into like trees. And alligators, and frogs blend into swamps and ponds. You know how alligator does that? They have like, they pretend to be huge rock. And when their predator come closer, they just jump out and eat them. Like frogs, they just stay there, like on the patch, because since the rain, some, some of their prey are being confused, so they, so like frogs, they eat them with their tongue. Some animals change color for camouflage on land and water like the octopus. What's it like an example like an octopus? If it goes underwater water and it change how it feels. So like when it's bumpy, what's it? it you can't really see it's not that good to see if you feel it changed different. It can do flat or bumpy. That's why that's an example. Some animals change fast and some change slowly like the iguana change fast and the arctic fox change very slow. Some of the arctic fox turn brown because of its fur. In the winter, it changes its color with its fur. And that's how it can blend into the snow. Zebras use disruptive camouflage for like predators to be confused since there's so many they don't know which one to eat first. We're, next we're going to talk about migration. Like migration is like animals move to like another part of the world. Like into a very hotter place. Like let's say now they might like move to another state or something. Monarch butterflies go to Mexico in the fall to go into a hotter place and it's closer to the equator. Birds fly south in the winter to a warmer place and they can feel the changes because of the sun and the days are shorter. I think if you can think, I think the sun is their compass if you think it. Like animals, they eat a lot of food when, and they get big before they migrate because they need to eat a lot of food. If they don't even eat a lot of food, they could die and it could be bad for the environment. Some animals are nomads. They, they just go out of here when they lost food or something to another place and they don't usually come back. I'm gonna migrate out of here and I'm gonna blend in the trees. So bye. I'm gonna blend in the migrate. They can. Bye everyone. Thanks for learning with me today. Subscribe to my channel, Landon.